Alright folks, here's a table that Rocky and I made. We made it mainly out of out of old recycled wood that we got from skids. Here's Rocky. <laughs> Alright, the main part of the table, you can see the legs down here. And the uh, the uh, skirt boards, both the end skirt board and the front skirt board with this scroll work in there, and the back skirt board are all made out of recycled wood, straight from straight from pallets. You can see in the front of the skirt board right here, we took a router and cut out the nail holes and applied a piece of mahogany which we got from Ray Ramirez's basement to cover the nail holes. If you look at the legs, the legs have been... <laughs> we got Van, Vanna Daniels here <laughs> showing us the legs. <laughs> you can see the legs are two pieces of skids glued together and then we tapered them on the, tape, on the uh, table saw. Then we made a small slice in the leg and inlaid more of the mahogany that we got out of Ray Ramirez's basement, both on the top and the bottom of each leg. Now, the top of the table is made of about six different woods here. So Rocky's going to start it off. Here we have hard maple. The next piece of wood is oak. Now th this came from the skids. We, we pulled the skids apart, planed them down, and uh, it turned out to be a very nice wood. This next piece here that Rocky's pointing to is a piece of sycamore that we bought from a local mill. It came out very dark. The next piece is a piece of cherry from a tree that Rocky bought. The next piece after that is walnut, and you can see how the walnut goes all the way around the table on both rectangles, clear out to the corners on both sides. And believe it or not, that walnut came from another skid that we broke apart. The big white panels in the middle are what they call hackberry, and this is a, a book matched. Uh, set of pieces. If you look, that dark line running right through the middle of that left panel and then the right panel, they actually match up. Now the back side of the table, as you can see, the back skirt board is a piece of ash which came out of a skid and you can see the nail holes in it. Now what we did on the legs because there were probably 15 or 20 different nail holes in the legs and the back side instead of trying to leave character in there what we did was we covered up the the, the, the nail holes and we got the piece of wood that we used, there you go, you can see it that thin dark line right there on the back side we got that piece of wood that we used on the back of both rear legs again from Ray Ramirez's basement we glued them onto the back of, of the legs, and we flush trimmed them with a router bit. As you can see, no nail holes. Now if you look at the back of this leg, you can see how we've got nail holes right down there at the bottom of the leg. We left them in there for character and to prove that we, we actually got this wood out of, out of skids. There's another nail hole right there. If you look at that leg right there, you can see the remnants of some nail holes there. Now, the other thing we did is we inlaid the walnut into the edge of the table. We did those two stripes, those two bands. What we did was we stood the table up on end and ran it through the table saw and made those two, those two stripes on every corner. Two stripes of walnut on every corner. We have no idea how many hours it actually took us to do the table, 
but it did take us a lot. I think we started back in, what, November? December? We worked on it a little bit here, worked on it a little bit there, and we finally decided, uh, you know, that we got the fire lit under us, and we decided we were going to finish it. Well, we couldn't afford any more beer, so we decided <laughs> yeah. to finish the table. <laughs> yeah, we, we ran out of beer, so we, just, so we decided we had to work on it. That's exactly right. So if you look at the table, probably 80% of this table is made out of recycled wood. We finished it with Minwax, Golden Oak, two coats of, of, of stain on it. Then we put about four coats of tongue oil. And then we put about four coats of paste wax. We used no urethane, no shellac, no varnish, no lacquer, anything like that. We are very proud of this table and we hope you all enjoyed this video.